Hey, this is Rick from Outdoor Emergencies at HikingEmergencyBeacon.com. And today I have my 67i, the GPS Map 67i. And I want to show you how to increase the size of your data screens so that if, you're, if you have trouble with the eyesight or maybe it's too far away, whatever reason it is, can you make those data fields bigger so it's easier to see? Before I tell you that, please like, subscribe, share, and turn on notifications so you'll be alerted as soon as I put out new videos. So what you want to do here is you want to go to the menu page. And the easiest way on the 67i is just to hit the menu button twice and you'll end up in the menu. So then go down to, now this may be different from yours and mine, but I've arrowed down to the bottom. I have rearranged all this because you can customize your menus. So this may look a little bit different, but on the main menu page at the bottom, there is a trip computer. And again, I will have screenshots. Every time I take a screenshot, you're gonna hear a beep. I could probably turn that off, but I haven't done that so far. So then I'm gonna hit enter on the trip computer. Again, I'll try to show you this, but I'll have screenshots up also. Now it says change item order. That's not what I wanna do. I wanna quit that. I want to, oh, well, so I hit menu, sorry. So you wanna hit enter. When you hit enter, now it comes up with these, how many data fields? There's one, two, three, four, there's eight. There's eight data fields. And again, I want to look at speed. Well, speed is right here. So what you can do right now, if you want to make this larger, is you hit menu, actually. You hit menu, and then it shows up a lot of different things here. It says change data fields, and all the way down to we'll change dashboard, insert, more data, less data. What we want here is we want to go to less data. When we hit less data, then what happens, I'll try to show you here as it does it, you can see that the data field has changed. Now there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, is there more than that? Well, anyway, the speed you can see is larger right in the middle. But what's nice is you can even go farther than that. So if I hit on menu again, again, it says there's less data and more data. So we're gonna hit less data one more time we'll hit enter now look how big it is so there's still there's four small ones at the top data fields and then there's two large ones and right here it says speed and moving average so that looks great i really like that but let's go hit on menu one more time and you can see it doesn't say less data anymore it says insert more data restore it says well, change data fields, change dashboard, insert more, and then restore. If you want to go back to the eight data fields, you just hit restore defaults and it'll take you right back to that. But another thing you can do here is you go up to change dashboard right here. When I click on that, now it says large data field, small data field, satellite status, etc. So right now I'm on small. You can see it right there. I'm going to go up to large. It says large data field. So when I hit that, you can see now there's only three data fields. And you can customize each one of these. The one at the top says trip odometer, the one in the middle is speed, and then the bottom, bottom is moving average. And you can change all that. You know, for me, I might want to see on the bottom, I, want, I might want to see my elevation. Well, let's go down here and just do this real quick. We'll hit enter right here. Well, well yeah, no, we'll hit menu, sorry. We'll hit menu, and then what happens is this change data fields right at the top. So when I hit enter on change data fields, now it, it's highlighted, and you can see, now I'm gonna go arrow down to the bottom one, because that's what I wanna change to be elevation. So I'm gonna hit menu, I'm gonna hit menu on this. Well, it said change data fields, and maybe I should have hit enter. Yes, so when I hit enter, now it says all categories and it has everything listed here. So I can go down to time, speed, distance, trip data, and elevation right there. So I'm gonna click on elevation or select it. Oh, so it says moving average and select to replace. So I'm gonna go down to elevation. So there it is. So at the top it says select 
to replace. So I'm going to hit enter right here. So you can see it. Hopefully it does it when I do this here. And there it goes. So right now my trip odometer is zero. My speed is zero because I'm standing still. And then my elevation here where I live is at 6,526 feet, give or take 10 to 20 feet for accuracy. That's how easy it is. There's so many things you can change on this, but I really wanted to show you how you go from those really small images or data fields to these larger ones. So again, if I'm sitting here arm's length away and maybe I have it in my truck window, I have it on a bike or I have it on an ATV, that's really big. In fact, this is bigger, in my opinion. This is a little bigger than what I did recently on the eTrex SE. Well, I hope you found this video helpful. And if you have any advice or questions, any additional questions, leave a comment below. And thanks for joining me here on Hiking Emergency Beacon. Please like, subscribe, share, and turn on notifications so you'll be alerted as soon as I put out new videos. And if you'd like to support Hiking Emergency Beacon, there's a link in the description below. Well, thanks for joining me again, and I'll see you back here in Colorado in the next video.